Well viewers, enough is the Tesla Transformer for now. Um, some uh, metering videos. We got a Vena QB and a Vena FRM coin meter, which was featured in a previous video. I got the device hooked up uh, to a load setup, and um, I just want to actually see that the mechanism trips on a coin operation. I got a test setup, and I ramp it up to 20 ampere. Roughly, that's the base load of the meter. The same amount for the accuracy tests. Uh, I got a Dordrecht three phase, and now I got the two meters in the test here. I'll take the covers off to make the mechanisms more visible. Very hard to get uh, rid of the glare on the glass. This little Venner 600 revs is running pretty fast. And the other FRM runs 240 revs per uh, kilowatt hour. Let's take the covers off. This Venner 4 dials. I've got very large numerals on the disc. Beautiful brass gear train. Two decimal pointers. A big magnets in the front. As comparison, this particular meter has Venner embossed in the metering frame, the measuring device. While the coin meter got an A1 movement. So you would almost say A1 and Venner at some stage. Uh, they bought each other out or so, merged. So this is a coin meter which is running fine. They put some old uh, American quarters in there and a couple of old New Zealand shillings and it seemed to work on that. So let's so see how it operates. Very nice uh, brass gear train on this uh, Venno as well. And yeah, the change over gears which go into the mechanism. And there's a clockwork motor in here, which uh, drives the clockwork in it, uh, does a daily charge. I um, repaired these wires to the motor, which had pretty perished uh, insulation. I put some clear heat shrink on it, pretty hard to see. I don't want to move it too much here, like here. It's a 240 volt motor. So we're gonna, I'm doing a duration test on this and uh, we'll see how she goes. Got a bit of dust on this disc, but uh, it's free running so I'm just uh, not going to interfere with it. Watch that meter spin. Here we look at the covers, the nameplate is uh, attached to the casing itself. Filt ribbon, I've got a couple of little BA screws in there. And the other cover has been shown on another video before. Uh, it was used on a heater circuit, I think in a rental hall or something. Big pass into a uh, connector for the coin mechanism. Also, yeah, very well designed piece of equipment. Turn up to the extreme near left, insert a shilling, then turn not to the extreme right. And this is also interesting. Fixed and running charge. Well, I decided to put also an electronic meter in series, that's an uh, MP. MP reporter. Pity this unit hasn't got decimals at 73 kilowatt hour, but it gives me one watt hour pulses, which is, uh, could be handy just as a reference point. So, yeah, the meters are clocking up nicely. So, this is my temporary test setup, the, the plateau. I'm going to do some testing with the email M1 in the English electric meter at some stage. These were the start readings. Uh, I nearly have clocked up two kilowatt hours, and uh, we'll do a check reading in between. Check how the accuracy performs. Nearly there. Wait for the point three. Point three. I'm just winding the variac down and uh, de-energize the power source at this stage. And the meter here sits on uh, 
12.3 and now I'll have a look at these meters see what the readings are here the vendor sits on 0.58 which is a little bit slow and the other vendor sits on uh, 8.95 more or less it's also a tiny bit slow the coin dial has moved slowly from the 6 to the 5 so it says 2p or 2d per unit so one shilling is uh, 10d I think so five units and it moves one digit and then that counter is working as well so we'll see what happens here six units equals uh, one p or something like that the meter is just about to operate I worked out on the decimal pointer here is at 0.4 and it should be 9.4 in the last two digits the meter should stop. But we'll see what sound it makes. Increase the count a bit. Forty amps. Click. Heavy click. I'll do that again. Go and just activate the device. See the small vela running at uh, 30 amps around about 240. Meter was protesting, it's a 10 amp rated meter sitting at 45 ampere. It's working hard. MP is pulsing happily. Pulse, 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 pulse. I just went down. I don't want to burn the fan out. Get back to 30. And let this stew for a while. Okay, let's load the meter. We have 5.4, so I'll put a coin in here. Normally the mechanism will be here. I might need to give it two points sometimes. Something is not working. Now the meter switched on at three coins inserted. So that will be uh, 18 units I can clock up at the moment. So. Uh, the last dial sitting on uh, what's it? Two five point five to five point five. So uh, let's it's win for we well. Base load to the coin meter is about twenty five amps. Just also added a voltmeter onto the circuit, and then we got our main jack meter, and then we'll go from here back to the Venus. happy at this particular current. We wait a little bit longer the coin activation hasn't started yet. Uh, five or six units to go. Very well made.
just gonna wait for the click. The coin meter is not on zero yet, so I need to wait a little bit longer. The load is at the moment 40 ampere. I'll just keep the video running until the meter switches off. The decimal pointer should be sitting on 0.4, so it can't be far away. It works. Well, these are the final readings from this particular experiment, and uh, that was the S216. This is the QB, the Vena QB, and this is the FRM coin meter. And the readings are start finish. Uh, the Fer Vena FRM recorded 76.4 kilowatt hour. The 216 main meter 81.6 kilowatt hour, and then the QB, which is a 10 amp, was heavily overloaded, 76.08. So. It's not bad considering. Um, yeah, it's about five units difference, so oh, they were running slow, which was expected from uh, these older type uh, meters. So, yeah, that was this experiment. I'll uh, put it on YouTube. Thanks for watching for all my meter fans who like meters. These meters will come up in the video shortly, and um, also a um, replay switch. That's another. Uh, old frequency decoder device.